City of Hope Hospital is making significant strides with the development of the AOH 1996 pill, an innovative approach to killing cancer cells. Currently in phase one trials, this promising treatment is set to release its first human trial results in September 2024. As we follow this exciting journey, there is a growing sense of optimism that these results will be positive. If successful, the expedited production of this life-saving medicine by the FDA could soon become a reality. I am hopeful and eagerly await the upcoming reports. Together, we look forward to a future where cancer can be defeated. Cancer, the emperor of all maladies, has plagued humanity for millennia. Its tendrils reach deep, affecting millions worldwide and leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Despite decades of research and advancements in treatment, cancer remains a formidable foe. The quest for a cure, a definitive answer to this complex disease, has been relentless. Scientists and clinicians across the globe tirelessly pursue innovative approaches, seeking to outmaneuver cancer's relentless progression. Traditional treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation, while often effective, come with a hefty price. They target rapidly dividing cells leading to debilitating side effects that severely impact patients' quality of life. The need for more targeted, less toxic therapies has become increasingly apparent. This pursuit of precision medicine has led to breakthroughs in immunotherapy and gene editing, offering new hope in the fight against cancer. Amidst this ongoing battle, a novel drug candidate, AOH-1996, has emerged, sparking a wave of excitement and cautious optimism within the scientific community. This potential game changer, developed by researchers at the City of Hope Cancer Center, has demonstrated remarkable efficacy in preclinical trials, effectively targeting and killing a wide range of cancer cells. AOH 1996's unique mechanism of action, targeting a protein essential for cancer cell replication, holds immense promise for revolutionizing cancer treatment. The development of AOH 1996 marks a pivotal moment in our ongoing battle against cancer. Its emergence signifies not only a potential breakthrough in treatment, but also a paradigm shift in our understanding of this complex disease. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of AOH 1996, exploring its mechanism, clinical trial data and potential impact one cannot help but feel a sense of cautious optimism. The road ahead is long, fraught with challenges and uncertainties, but the fight against cancer continues, fueled by groundbreaking discoveries like AOH 1996. AOH 1996's efficacy stems from its unique mechanism of action, which sets it apart from traditional chemotherapies and targeted therapies. Unlike conventional treatments that induce DNA damage leading to cell death, AOH 1996 directly inhibits the function of PCNA, a protein crucial for DNA replication and repair in all proliferating cells. This targeted approach to selectively eliminate cancer cells while sparing healthy cells, minimizing off-target effects and reducing the likelihood of debilitating side effects. PCNA, often referred to as the ring of death, acts as a scaffolding protein, forming a ring-like structure around DNA and plays a vital role in DNA replication and repair processes. It acts as a docking station for various enzymes and proteins involved in these critical cellular functions. By inhibiting PCNA, AOH 1996 effectively disrupts the DNA replication and repair machinery within cancer cells. This disruption prevents cancer cells from dividing and proliferating, ultimately leading to cell death. Furthermore, AOH 1996 exhibits a unique ability to exploit a vulnerability within cancer cells. Studies have shown that cancer cells, due to their rapid and uncontrolled growth, are more reliant on PCNA compared to healthy cells. This heightened dependence on PCNA makes cancer cells particularly susceptible to AOH 1996's inhibitory effects, 
further enhancing its selectivity and reducing the likelihood of harming healthy cells. The novel mechanism of action employed by AOH 1996 represents a significant departure from traditional cancer therapies. Its targeted approach, selectively inhibiting PCNA and disrupting DNA replication and repair specifically in cancer cells, offers a promising avenue for more effective and less toxic cancer treatments. Targeting PCNA represents a paradigm shift in cancer therapy, moving away from the traditional approaches of damaging DNA or inhibiting specific signaling pathways. By directly targeting PCNA, a protein essential for DNA replication and repair in all proliferating cells, AOH 1996 exploits a fundamental vulnerability in cancer cells, offering a novel and potentially more effective way to combat the disease. The traditional approach to cancer treatment has focused on inducing DNA damage, either through radiation or chemotherapy, to kill rapidly dividing cells. However, this approach often leads to significant side effects as healthy cells, particularly those that divide rapidly like hair follicles and bone marrow cells, also suffer damage. This non-specific targeting results in the debilitating side effects often associated with cancer treatment. Targeted therapies, on the other hand, focus on specific molecules or pathways involved in cancer cell growth and survival. While this approach has led to significant advancements in treating certain types of cancer, resistance often develops and not all patients respond to these therapies. Additionally, targeted therapies often come with their own set of side effects, albeit generally less severe than those associated with traditional chemotherapy. AOH 1996's approach of targeting PCNA offers a more fundamental and potentially more durable approach to cancer treatment. By inhibiting PCNA, AOH 1996 disrupts the very process of DNA replication and repair, essential for all proliferating cells. However, its unique mechanism of action allows it to exploit the heightened dependence of cancer cells on PCNA, selectively targeting and eliminating them while sparing healthy cells.